Hello, Rivermont. As we continue our series of book reviews um, with the, from the pastors, I wanted to share with you a book that I have read recently and have been very encouraged by. Uh, the name of the book is One to One Bible Reading by a man named David Helm. One to One Bible Reading. Now, in this short little book, it's not real long, what you uh, get is a call and an encouragement and an equipping towards gathering together with other believers and those who might have questions about God's word and about faith in Jesus Christ, gathering together uh, around the word of God, reading it one to one. Um, now, what this book does is it goes through, uh, first, why it is that we should read the Bible with one another. What's the point of reading the Bible? And it gives a great encouragement towards what the Word of God teaches us, is that it is the Word, as we read the Word of God, empowered by the Holy Spirit, led by God's Holy Spirit, uh, this is how we grow in our Christian faith. As you read through the book of Acts, what you see is that the gospel expands, it goes forward as the Word of God is proclaimed in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how not only are people one to Christ, but how it is that we as Christians continue to grow in our lives by reading the word of God and applying it to our lives so that we might follow after the way of Christ. And so this book encourages you to find other Christians, particularly in these one-on-one -on -one contexts where you can read the word of God together and you can pray together and you can apply the word of God together. Now, not only does it give an encouragement towards it, it also gives some very practical outplanes of, first, how to get started. How do you engage with somebody and ask them to uh, begin to read the Bible together? Next, it gives you some great encouragement on how to prepare, how it is that you could put these lessons together so that when you meet together, it'll be a fruitful time. It moves on from there to give a great outline, a simple outline for how to approach the Word of God in a way that you receive from it uh, what it is that the Word of God is seeking to teach you. They uh, give this acronym, which uh, is a little bit uh, uh, humorous. It's called COMA. Not that we would want to put anybody into a coma when we're reading the Bible, but it helps you to remember that first in the coma, you start with the context. So when you come together and read the Word of God, you ask the context. What is the context of this verse within the broader book that we're reading, within, um, within the chapter that we're reading, within the very the outflow of the, of, or the overview of Scripture itself? Second, it says observation. What, what are some observations? What are some things that you notice? Are there certain words that are repeated? Are there themes that you see? Are there, are there questions that you have about the meaning of specific uh, words? And so you need to have all these observations about what's going on. The third thing is the M, the meaning of the text. What is the central purpose the original audience was meant to receive from this specific passage of Scripture? And third is application. So once we have the context, once we've made some uh, observations about the text, once we have uh, deduced what the original meaning of the text was for the audience, uh, then we come to a point of application. What does this mean for us as Christians? And how do we apply it to our day-to-day -day lives? I would be so encouraged uh, if we began to see more and more of these one-on-one -on -one relationships within the church, discipleship relationships where, uh, where men and women are gathering together around the Bible and reading His Word, learning its meaning and applying it to our lives. And so uh, I give great recommendation to one-on-one -on -one Bible reading uh, I know that we have a few copies around the church if you're interested in grabbing one, or you can obviously just order it uh, on the internet. It's not a long book. It won't take you long to read, but if you apply its principles, it will have lifelong fruit. All right, Rivermont, let me pray for us uh, as we end uh, this book review. Father, we come to you at this time. We thank you for your word, and we thank you for resources that uh, point us to your word and, and help us to learn and apply it better. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, continue to bless the body of Rivermont, 
Lord, and that you would, uh, Lord, begin a movement within uh, this body of, of um, people gathering around your word and their lives being changed by it. We pray it in Christ's holy name. Amen. The Lord bless you, Rivermont, and I look forward to seeing all of you again soon.